Hello, I wanted to show you this tutorial on the usage of the new custom card I have built for Home Assistant called Floor 3D Card. The objective of this card is to uh, visualize the state of the Home Assistant entities into a live uh, 3D model of your home. Uh, let's say, so this is the GitHub repository where you will find the JavaScript module that you need to import to Home Assistant. So let's uh, do first this operation that is needed in order to have this uh, new feature available as a custom card in Home Assistant. You uh, enter into the dist folder of my GitHub repository. Uh, all the links will be shared inside the description of this video. You download the floor3dcard.js um, file into a local uh, look, folder in your PC and then you uh, copy it over to uh, a folder inside the www folder of the config of Home Assistant. Okay, so and once you have done this uh, operation, uh, you basically uh, as usual for this type of custom card, you go to Loveless Dashboard Resources and you create a new JavaScript module under, uh, let's say, the Resources area uh, and you put the uh, URL at the location of the uh, modules you have downloaded and copied. Okay, And once you've done this operation, the uh, custom card will be available among the other custom card that you can add inside a view inside Home Assistant. Okay. And now let's go to step by step and uh, uh, how you can create a model of your home. Okay, so um, there are several ways to do this. Okay. I sh will show you uh, one based on a software that is called Sweet Home 3D. Uh, there are, uh, of course, other uh, software packages that allow to create uh, 3D models and to export them. Uh, I've chosen this one because it is uh, free, it is uh, really feature-rich, uh, and it has uh, the functionality to export the 3D model to the format that will be then uh, imported inside uh, the uh, custom card in Home Assistant. So, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I will open uh, an existing example that I have downloaded from the Sweet Home 3D uh, website. Uh, of course, this is not a tutorial for the usage of um, Sweet Home 3D, so you have plenty of resources uh, in the web to uh, learn how to use Sweet Home 3D. Uh, but basically, let's say it is uh, like many software that allows you to uh, build a 3D model of your home. You start uh, by uh, modeling the home in a 2D model, uh, uh, putting walls, uh, external walls, internal walls, uh, furniture, rooms, tiles, te textures, uh, and whatever it's needed. And then you uh, have, let's say, a visualization a 3D rendering of your uh, apartment based on your 2D plan. Um, so what it is important uh, for a model that you will import after into Home Assistant, um, a few things. Let's say. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, put into your model the uh, objects that you want to bind to your entities in Home Assistant. So, uh, for instance, the lights is the very, very good example, let's say. Uh, but not only, let's say, the, in uh, the custom card in Home Assistant, you will be able to do a lot of different things that I will explain you later. Uh, so it is important that any objects uh, that represent a state uh, inside the Home Assistant is inserted into your model. Um, when you're finished with it, uh, you just go here, you uh, export to object format. The object format is also called the wave front uh, format. 
uh, it's important to say that uh, uh, let's say this format is not composed by only one file uh, and this means that uh, uh, in order to export you have to choose a folder uh, where you have to put your um, your models, let's say, so in this case, for instance, uh, example, home, user guide, okay, and I save it and export it. So uh, once the export is finished, as you can see, let's say, you uh, have several files that have been created so at least two ones that are usually the one that are uh, the base that are the dot object file and the dot mtl file um, and then let's say you have also uh, let's say the, all the jpeg pictures uh, uh, and mpeg uh, and uh, sorry and png f pictures that are used in order to render the texture uh, of your uh, furniture and of your floors, etc. So uh, the full list of files you have to uh, uh, how to say copy them and uh, paste them into a, a folder that is available under the www uh, folder of your Home Assistant config and note down your the path to the place where you have copied the file. In my case, it's home tree. Okay. Now, let's say what happens in uh, Home Assistant. Let's show it rapidly. So, um, I have created a view that is called uh, Sample Plan. It is a view that is uh, in panel mode. Uh, this is probably the uh, way, uh, let's say, the custom card is performing the best, let's say, in panel mode. But this does not mean that you can uh, you cannot do it in column mode. So you can you can put your custom card floor 3D uh, side by side with the other cards uh, inside the same view. So for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I will show you the panel mode. So you uh, edit you add a card and uh, you see that uh, at the end you have let's say this uh, custom floor 3d card which is the one that i have created okay so i have prepared for uh, this um, uh, module uh, the visual editor you will see going forward that when you have a very very complex model with many entities bound etc you will probably go directly to the code editor but for a starter as a starter it's very very uh, interesting to uh, learn using the uh, uh, the visual editor so um, once you have uh, let's say the the card the configuration open you just start by uh, putting a name okay a path so if you you have seen beforehand i've put things into this path let's say and then you have the name of the object file and the name of the material file okay so once once you have finished with it you just click on refresh and after a while you will see the model appearing in your preview at the right side let's say you have other configuration that can be used not a lot let's say i will add them uh, let's say in the next releases of the this uh, custom card but you can set a style you can uh, uh, do a different background color you can change the intensity of the global light that will illuminate the the, the full model uh, but the important point here is uh, playing with the entities Okay, uh, and this is where uh, basically uh, it will be important to uh, do the binding between your entities and the objects inside the uh, model. 
Okay, so first of all, I will configure a light, which is probably the, uh, let's say, the most interesting uh, feature of uh, this card. Okay, so uh, I grab, let's say, the name of my entity, which is a light. Okay, and then uh, I tell to uh, the configuration that uh, this uh, um, uh, is uh, this entity is of type light. Um, and uh, let's say I have to uh, identify what is the object I have to bind uh, the, my light to. Okay, and uh, in this case I will uh, bind it to this object, which is the base of the light in my in my model. Okay, and then there are specific properties that you set for the for your light. So first of all, the light name. Okay, this is uh, something that I will remove in the future because it is a useless step, but it is uh, important to make to the, the the card work today. Okay, but uh, let's say you have basically to put a, a unique name for the objects that will be created and that will represent in the model the light, and then an intensity of the light. So uh, now you are finished. Uh, there are other type of objects, of course. Let's say not only the light, but you have the color and the height. So with the color, you will be able to assign a color to an object based on the state uh, of the entity. And with the height, you will be able to tell Home Assistant to hide from the model the uh, object in case the state is equal to some value. Okay. So when I finished, I save, okay, and uh, suddenly my model is represented in panel mode. And let's say when I click on the uh, light to switch it on, you can see that the light is switched on. And most important, you see that the, uh, let's say, it's not uh, just a picture uh, which I have uh, overlaid uh, the illumination, but it is really a, a 3D rendering that is completely uh, dynamic and live. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I will come back later with additional features, additional release, and don't hesitate to put your comments and to ensure, let's say, you ask for the features that you like, uh, because I will dedicate some time to this uh, custom card in the future, and I want you to, uh, to say, uh, to ask for anything you think is important, give me feedback, uh, show, let's say, if there are any bugs or issues, uh, etc. Thank you again.